Welcome on in. Welcome, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is your girl, Queen Zai, coming at you today. I want to talk to you guys a little bit and really briefly about what self-love really looks like. You know, a lot of us are now, um, before I get started, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, leave a comment so I know how these messages resonate with you. Um, but anyway, let's go back to the topic. What does self-love really look like? So, it's a lot of us that are on this spiritual path, this spiritual journey. And so, we're waking up to decisions and lifestyle choices that we have made, okay? Some of these, some of us are waking up to it violently based on the other person that we're involved with. They might be shoving it down your throat that is some things you need to be doing differently. Sometimes it's just divine timing that you realize that it's some shit you need to be cleaning up in your life. And what self-love looks like is you being loving and patient and compassionate with yourself. Okay? You don't wake up from a nightmare and have a knee-jerk reaction. It's only going to make things around you more chaotic okay the analogy that i use today is when you have your hand in an alligator's mouth when you are against the wall in your spiritual path when it seems like you are being attacked for no reason you don't need your reaction okay because what we know re knee-jerk reaction is going to do is snatch your goddamn arm off. Because that alligator ain't going to open his mouth to let you out with knee-jerk reactions. It's going to clench down harder. You understand? It might even start the chewing process. Okay? Because eventually what that alligator sees is the resistance. And so it feels that you feel the fear. So it's going to attack that. But when you have self-love and you realize that you got your hand in a damn gator's mouth, what you're going to do is tickle that alligator's fancy to release you, okay? You have to plan, all right? You have to plan. You have to be strategic. And you also have to be nice because you want to, you want your plan to work. And you don't know what the fuck the alligator that got you bound is thinking. So what you want to do is come up with a plan, but be able to safely remove yourself from that alligator's mouth. That's what self-love is. Self-love ain't, oh, I'm caught up, let me cut my fucking arm off. No, that's not self-love. That is self-punishment. Self-love is, let me get more bees with honey because I know where I'm going. I know who I am, and I know what I'm going through. These motherfuckers can't touch me. These powerless people can't do shit to me. I'm powerful. All the, all the time I've been spending, you know, reading books and studying things and learning self and, and meditation and, you know, building myself and building my strength. You mean to tell me that motherfuckers that ain't doing that shit is more powerful than me? I think not. I think not. And so what I challenge all of you guys to do is look at what real self-love is. And are you being loving to yourself? Are you being compassionate with yourself? Are you being patient with yourself? Yeah, it's painful as fuck when an alligator is clamped down on you, but patience is what is going to numb it out, numb out the pain. Patience, understanding that in the right timing, it will all be released, and pain ain't nothing but a mental state of being. A physical state of being is something that you can overcome mentally with the right thinking. So when you're in pain, it's not time to quit. It's not time to squirm and chicken out. It's time to dig the fuck in. That's how you win. When everything in you is saying, Get quit, give up, knee-jerk reaction, react, react, react. 
Plan. Plan. Plan your way out of shit. Any house that was built started from a plan. Any car that was built started from a plan. Any any type of war, retaliation, or defense that's been taken has been planned. Any successful one anyway. If you want success, you got to learn how to start planning. And planning is another form of self-love because with planning, you know how to strengthen your weaknesses. You know how to use your weaknesses to your advantage. But when you don't plan, your weaknesses become a distraction, a setback, a difficulty. This is what self-love look like. When you can plan your way to a better life. When you can manifest your way up out of a situation by planning. A lot of us are in relationships and situationships that we're not happy in. And the reason why we're not happy in them is because we keep compromising who we truly are and our true soul's journey. Self-love ain't saying, hey, I love myself, so fuck you. Self-love is, I got my in, myself into this, and I'm going to do whatever it take, however long it take, however much money it take to get out of this thing safely, wisely, and a less abrasive. Because eat abrasive, look, abrasion hurts both surfaces. Think about when you use sandpaper on a piece of wood. That sandpaper, every time you're using it, is disintegrating. It's getting less and less able to do what it needs to do to the point that it just becomes regular paper and you got to switch out that sandpaper. So when we take the abrasive way out, the knee-jerk reaction, it affects you and them. But when you ease your hand out that line, that damn alligator's mouth, when you plan, when that motherfucker don't even realize that your hand is free and you are gone, that's self-love. And that's what self-love looks like. When your enemies don't even know that you've already escaped and you've disappeared. You're not even within where they can even touch you. That is self-love. And that is one definition of success. So make sure you guys are, you know, giving yourself the love and the compassion, but also the patience and the timing to know that all good things come to those that are doing good. And that's what you guys are doing. Good things are going to come to you. You ain't got to need your reaction. Plan, plan your way out. And, when, and as you're planning your way out and you're making moves to get out of that at Gator's mouth lovingly, Watch how the universe open up opportunities for you. Watch how the universe convince that alligator to lovingly open up his mouth and release you. To just give up. That's what the universe does for us when it fights our battles. It don't get his hands dirty. It makes your enemies bow the fuck down. Know who you are. Know what you're entitled to. When you are tapped into the universe and know that when you love yourself and when you treat yourself with love and compassion and with patience, everybody else in the world will too. But it starts with you doing that for yourself. Because how can you do it to, for others and you can't do it to yourself? Right? Y'all hear my grandson back there clapping? Right on. So, make sure you guys know what, what self-love really looks like. And be gentle and kind to yourself. If nobody else is giving you compassion, give your own self compassion. Just because they ignorant don't mean you got to be ignorant with them. It's time for you to change the trajectory of your life. Change the trajectory of how you allow people to treat you by treating yourself better. Treating yourself more loving and kind. You can stand up for yourself without being, you know, nasty, bitter. But sometimes you do have to be a little aggressive. But in a loving way. You feel me? So, 
make sure you guys leave me some messages let me know how this message resonated i am trying to bring you guys more and more and more content i am going to be bringing you guys a video if not today before the end of this week about spiritual baths because a lot of us need to start cleaning our temples we need to start getting rid of all of these these soul ties and ties that bind us so make sure you guys stay tuned for that video it should be coming up this week so check check out my channel from time to time this week and see if you see that video i will title it spiritual baths and again remember what self-love looks like it is patient it is kind it is loving it is compassionate it is enduring okay peace light and love family till the next time i will see you